Hey, it's Corbett Lunsford from Green Green Group in Chicago. On behalf of the Building Performance Workshop, I want to show you a new piece of equipment that we're pretty excited about here at my company. It is the Smart Gauge from Retrotech. The technical term is DM32, uh, but it's mostly like the smartphone that I carry around with me everywhere that can tell me anything that I want uh, at any time. So this piece of equipment can do a lot more things, and in fact, I'm going to show you uh, toward the end of this video how I actually can run a blower door test on the other side of the country using this. Um, so just to familiarize you with the size of this thing, here's your standard manometers that we've been using in this industry, and here's the new one, here's the smart gauge. Uh, physically, it's pretty interesting looking. It's got a nice big full color screen. When you power it on, it gives you a nice beautiful little uh, logo that comes up and it's all high def and everything. Um, they solved one of the problems that you can see on the DM2, which is the older Retrotech manometer, by putting the ports at the top here. They were hidden around the back. You had to actually flip the thing over. So this is actually kind of cool that you can see the display and what you're reading all from looking down at it. There is an Ethernet port at the top. That's to go to the fan device that you're using, the blower door or the duct tightness tester or whatever it is that you're testing. And you can actually use other brands. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Uh, it's got nice grips on the side, so you can hold it very uh, easily with one hand. At the bottom, it's got the network connection cable so that you can link this with either a computer or with other devices like this so that you can have a, a chained um, configuration. And also, there's the USB port right here, which is how you charge it and also how you get automatic updates. You used to have to send this in to get a firmware update, but now it's exactly like my phone. I just plug it into my computer and it says, hey, you've got an update. I'll go ahead and download it and install it for you. So getting into just how it reads when you first open it up, you can see here that we've got uh, channel A, channel B, top and bottom, just like before. The most colorful thing that you'll notice is here, the device selector. And when you click on that, when you actually just press on that emblem, you can see all of the different device configurations that you're going to be using, like for the flow rings. Uh, I can go ahead and choose an open fan for that, and I'd be using the Retrotech blower door. Now, to figure out which specific blower door I'm using, I can change device, and I've got all of these Retrotech devices that I can use, including the duct tester and a bunch of different blower door models for residential and commercial. I hit the little dot, dot, dot library item, and I get to the Minneapolis equipment that I can use, including all the blower doors, the duct blaster, the exhaust fan, and even the true flow plate. And then I can click it one more time and get to the generic 200 uh, square inch hole, which is how I calibrate it and make sure that my duct tester is actually showing me what I want to see and that there's not a hole in the snorkel or a hole in one of the hoses somewhere. So that's all really handy to be able to do. All I have to do to get back to the main screen is just hit the back arrow. Uh, now moving uh, clockwise around this, we've got channel A. That's going to obviously always display pressure just like it always has. One of the interesting things about this piece of equipment, though, is that now they have digital pressure uh, sensors, not analog like what we had. The main difference in that is twofold. Uh, it's more accurate, and they only have to be calibrated once every five years. If you, ha if you own a manometer right now, you know that they need to be sent back every year or two tops or else field calibrated. This thing can go for a full five years before even having to worry about it. That's a really good thing. If I just simply press on the pressure reading on channel A, it goes into hold mode and it actually just holds it right there. I can obviously set the pressure and set the speed just like I would be able to on other Retrotech uh, manometers. The Retrotech brand has always kind of been about making the one piece of equipment hold the motor drive, which is what we uh, dial the fan up on in a Minneapolis uh, piece of equipment. And the manometer is all in one piece of equipment, so it's, it's just cruise control the whole time. It makes it really user-friendly. If you're out on the field and you just want to get to 25, bam, you just say, go to 25, and it does it. When we come back around, you can set the volume if you're dealing with air changes per hour or with CFM per 100 square feet of floor area or something like that. If you had to do a special code compliance calculation, you can do that in the manometer. I like to carry a calculator with me and just double check my numbers just in case. It tells you what speed you're going on and then the time average. Retrotech manometers always default to the last setting that you had on it. So if this piece of equipment lives with my duct tester, it would always open up in duct testing mode. So that's kind of a nice feature. And it also tells me what my battery life is. 
Now in the settings, you can first of all go ahead and calibrate the screen. This is not like a phone screen. This is a pressure-based screen, which is good because I'm going to be using it in the field and I might want it to only respond to certain amounts of pressure in case I accidentally brush it or something like that. So you just press in four places and it sets it to, if I want to have a really light touch, I can do that. Now we're going to go online and I'm going to be doing a blow order test with my friend Joe Medosh, who's a trainer who specializes in RetroTech products. So uh, Joe, are you there? I'm here. All right, fantastic. Uh, you're in Georgia, right? I am in Georgia right now. I'm hot. Good. Okay. I'm not that hot. I'm in Chicago. It's raining. Um, so we're going to do a, a blow order test together online. I'm going to be able to see what you're doing, and I'm actually going to be able to participate in the middle. Is, is that right? That's correct. Okay, cool. And you know enough about the retro tech stuff that you've taught me in the first place how to get onto Google Hangout, which is what we're using to, to do this. Now, we're going to pretend that I am either a code official or a QA provider for a Hertz Raider or just somebody who is at the manufacturer who's going to be able to support you in the field. Um, is that how this is going to work? That's right. And Google Hangout is free. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So you've got your blow order set up. Will you go ahead and show us what it looks like from where you are? So we've switched camera views, and I can see that you've got your Retrotech blower door there. So I'm going to do set pressure, 5-0 set. And there it goes. I press the hold feature, which just holds the actual pressures in the air changes per hour, my results, or the CFM. So now I've, I've captured that here. Fantastic. And we can talk without the camera. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable what's called remote desktop so that I can actually see what's on uh, Joe's PC and also control it from here. Bingo. Right. And made RC, but the exact reading on my gauge is on the PC. Excellent. And the exact same thing that I'm able to work with Corbett in Chicago can now see or even control. Now, uh, Joe has air changes per hour showing up as the channel B rating. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this to change what shows up, and I'd like to see what the actual flow was instead of the air changes per hour. So we're going to select that and then go back. And now I can see what the CFM is. And we can go ahead and just keep toggling through this while we're on hold, which is kind of a pretty amazing feature about this. Uh, now, Joe, you got your number. You're happy with the number. As Let's pretend that I'm a code official or a quality assurance manager, and I would like to take control of your blower door. Is that all right with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Fantastic. So I'm going to unhold. And now we're back at zero because the fan is off. So what I'm going to do is set the pressure to the half pressure setting, which I'm also going to expect to see a 0.6 CFM reading at that pressure. It's a very simple quality control measure that you can do just to make sure that the hoses are connected correctly. So we're going to go to 25 pascals. I hit set, and while that's building up, I'm going to go ahead and say at pressure to see what we will be at at 25. We're getting around 22.25, so 31.50. All right, fantastic. So we just ran a very simple quality control check cross-country. Joe, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciated learning about this, and I think that it's an amazing feature of this equipment. Anything else to add before yeah. we go? I think we'll revolutionize QAQC and reduce your liability. That's amazing. Thank you very much for your time, Joe Medosh. And I hope that uh, you have a great rest of your summer. I hope that we meet up soon. Yeah, you too, Robert. Take care.